السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أهلا وسهلا Welcome to a new video Today I want to tell you a really incredible story and this is inshallah a true story which has been mentioned by uh, Ibn Rajab in one of his books and this is about an Imam named Abu Bakr al-Ansari al-Bazzar so this Imam he tells us his story he was a young man in Mecca seeking knowledge and he was extremely poor uh, he barely had enough for his daily needs but life went on he did not depend on anyone and he continued seeking knowledge uh, but he says one day he was so hungry he did not have any food to eat and he was so hungry that he went out looking for anything looking for any food and he found uh, a purse he found a purse made out of silk and it was tied with threads of silk so he took it and he came home and he opened it and it is a beautiful pearl necklace subhanallah but he kept it at, uh, in his house look at the amana because uh, in islam there is something known as luqata luqata is the uh, property that has been lost and found so if you find something uh, that was lost on the street or anywhere there are rules in dealing with it you have to announce uh, that you have found something like this and uh, there are uh, you know uh, rules regarding it in fiqh you can't just take it so subhanallah uh, this young man he kept it safe in his house and he went out again looking for food and then soon he found an old man announcing in front of the people that I have lost a pouch anyone who brings it back to me shall have a reward of 500 golden dinars 500 dinars and this is a substantial sum so this is just a gift to uh, you know bring him back the pouch so this young man went to the sheikh and he told him I have what you seek and he brought him to his house and he gave him the pouch and uh, you know he checked it and he found it as it was as it was so the old man he gave him the 500 dinar but subhanallah this young man he refused it and uh, this old man kept insisting but then he said the young man said I will not take the reward of you know giving back your amana to you except from Allah Azza wa Jal. the reward for this I shall take only from Allah Azza wa Jal and not from you subhanallah so when the old man found that he was not going to take anything finally he left him and the young man says you know days passed years passed and nothing happened you know some people if they uh, you know do something good they expect the reward immediately from Allah the reward from Allah will come for sure but in his hikmah he might delay it he might test you by delaying it so nothing happened for many years nothing happened and this man continued to be poor and life went on then one day he got on a ship to travel somewhere and the ship sank and people drowned but he caught hold of a piece of wood and you know he was swept right and left in the ocean and he held on to, to this uh, piece of wood and subhanallah the waves finally took him to an island so he you know got up on this island and he found people there and they were Muslims but none of them could read or write but they had a masjid so uh, this young man he goes there and he starts reading the Quran he starts praying there and the people saw how he could read the Quran and all of them came to him asking him to teach them the Quran and they would pay him 
So he says, I found a lot of khair, I found a lot of wealth from teaching the people. This is halal. And then one day he found a mushaf that was torn. So he took it to read it. And they asked him, can you read? He said, yes. And then they started coming uh, to him to teach them how to read. And they brought their children. And the people of this town, they loved him. They did not want him to go back. So then they told him, there is a yatima here, an orphan. And she has a lot of wealth. We want you to marry her. Initially he refused, but they kept insisting until he agreed. So, subhanAllah, you know, he married her and uh, the women prepared the the bride and when they brought her to him he looked at her and he found a necklace subhanallah and it was the same necklace that he had returned so he kept staring at the necklace and the people subhanallah they were embarrassed they told him what are you doing you are breaking her heart you marry her and you look only at her necklace you are interested only in, in her money so he said, you know, this necklace has a story behind it. And he told them the entire story. And the people, they started shouting takbir. The whole island was filled with their takbir. They told him, you know, this sheikh that you had met was the father of this girl. And he came back from his journey and he would always say, I have never seen a Muslim like that man who has returned this necklace to me. And he used to make dua that Allah brought you back to him so that he can marry his daughter to you. Subhanallah. And they said, now Allah has answered his dua. So he married this uh, girl and, you know, she was an excellent companion. And he had two children from her. And then she passed away and he inherited a lot of wealth. And then his sons or his children passed away as well. And then he inherited from them the same necklace that he had returned. And he says, I sold this necklace for a hundred thousand dinar. And he says, what I have today is the wealth remaining from that necklace. Subhanallah. If you like these stories please like the video and consider subscribing to the channel leave a comment assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh